Welcome back, everybody. So last episode, we were able to get our straw house built for our little piggy. Still don't have any little piggies, though. Oh, that reminds me. How are my cows doing? I definitely need to see how my cows are doing. Now, these aren't cows. Those are chickens. I need a sign. Oops. As you see, I was just here chopping wood. So. Got to get that out of the way. Let's get... Uh, let's do this. Make my improvised tree farm. I don't know how many cows I've got. Oh, I've got three. And I need... Oh! Where's my barrel? Must be up here. We'll do you. What the? Why are you guys in your water trough? Well, it doesn't have any water in it. That could be a problem. That's crazy. Crazy. Crazy cows. I'm going to need a lot more cows. I keep forgetting to come over here and breed them. Well, I never put any glass in these windows. Um, well, that should be okay. It's a barn. It's not really a house. So I don't think I need... I don't think I'm going to need any glass. So, what was I? Oh, yeah. Next up, we are on our wooden house. Because if you remember the, the tail... One house was made of straw, one was made of wood. Uh, bet you can't guess what the next house is going to be built from. Let's do this. And no, I'm not making a zebra house, so I will be stripping these logs. I'm going for like a two-tone building. I'm trying to mix the style up. Because I'm going to put a, a stone roof on there though. Or cobblestone at least. Because I just... I think... You know, it's supposed to be all wood. But I think having the... The stone... A roof will break it up enough. I didn't want to have like... I guess it's all wood. There we go. Oh, it's a much better look. Yeah, that birch is just overpowering. It's like too, there's too much black in it to be a, a useful white block. There's too much white to be a useful black block. So we're kind of stuck with this unique block. Which does its own thing. Okay, so that would be... So that's the door. This is... A front walk. Or kind of a front deck. I guess I can do that then. Got a nice clear shot. This one's ended up being a lot lighter than the other one. The other, with the straw, I ended up taking on a darker tone. This one's got a very light tone to start out with. I was just using those slabs before because I had them. And it makes the blocks go a lot farther. They don't have to end up mining more. Okay, so that is the first the first tone, and then the second tone is going to be this oak. 
I will have to come through here and cut out windows and stuff. Oops, I'm almost out. But never fear. I got more. Let's do that. Curious to see how this is going to look because I have not previewed it. Well, that ain't half bad. That kind of works. I do have to go up one more, I think. Or maybe once I get the peak. Maybe once I get the peak done, it'll be fine. And they're all going to be a similar style with the uh, kind of just a normal house frame. It almost lines up perfectly with the barn. Interesting. Didn't plan it that way. So let's see. I thought I would do the oak all the way up, but I'm changing my mind. I think... I'm actually going to do this stripped. Like this. And I think it'll actually look better. Just, uh, just an idea I had. Up. Okay, before I strip it. Let's take out that. Let's try the other side and then we'll strip the whole thing. Oops. Well, since I'm down here, I had to, had to jump down for those blocks. So I might as well go ahead and, and move to step two before I get step one done. And yeah, once I get the roof on there, I think that'll look much nicer. It won't be such a solid block of wood. Kind of like this one. This one ended up being really solid. Well, it's, well I, that's a similar design. I have one color there, a color there, and a different color, similar color on the top. This one just happens to uh, be the same block and not a related block so I guess it's not such a unique idea I just did it last uh, couple episodes ago No, I can't reach. We've got our door. Oops. Make sure. Yeah, make sure I didn't lose anything. Okay, so for the roof, I've got a few shades of cobble here. Over here, let's do that there. And maybe there. Like that? No, no, let's do this. I don't want such a big window. I want a lot of windows, but I don't want them too huge. And I didn't realize that that stripped, stripped birch and the oak really do go together pretty good. Let's do this. I'm going to do two. There. 
I don't know if you noticed, I put a mossy, moss, I had some mossy blocks, so I decided to put those on the peak of the roof, just to break it up. There, oops. And as I said then, there. Those will go there. What the? Talk about sloppy. Well, I am just having no luck. There, that should do it. Let's head on inside. See if we can get this all organized here. So let's see. We come in the front door. I think I want living room over here, dining over here, kitchen, and the bedroom. Like the bedroom would go here. This, that. Um, that yes and I do want you know beams across the top but I didn't want to go with wood or stone because the stone will blend in and I've done wood too many times so I'm thinking I'm going to go with a more modern look so we will use these uh, iron bars yeah, that doesn't actually look, does not look bad at all. So if we head over here, so this will be the living room area. So I'm going to stick a fire in the corner. And I'm going with the, this quartz, so it's like a more modern look. Kind of modern, modern take on the uh, wooden, wooden piggy's house. Um, that's it. Yes, I'm gonna need that there. Let's do like a couple bookcases there. That kind of helps isolate it. I can even do bookcases there. And I guess let's take a look at the kitchen. So if I put a sink with um, that, countertops are good, put a furnace in, and then now we got this bedroom and kitchen combination, which is not a good thing. Do this. Oh, can I not do that? Hmm. I want to do a countertop here, like this. But I think I'm going to have to do like that. going to work. And I think I'll leave that open there. That makes for the more modernish kitchen. Modernish kitchen. Let's see. Maybe I don't need anything there. I do want to. Just going to put like a cabinet. 
there. Maybe like a kitchen table here. It gives us room to move around. And then let's see, we do need a little bit of privacy. Like so. Maybe. Working with a lot of uh, trapdoors here. Yeah, I think that'll work. That'll be good for privacy. Got a little shelf here. Go back here. We have our bedroom. Let's put, oh, I can't, can I put one there? Yeah. Although that looks funny, doesn't it? Maybe there, there we go. Have our, so we got a living room, kitchen, dining area, and bedroom. What more could a little pig want? Maybe a yard? So let's see what kind of yard work we can do around here. Let's, uh, maybe I'll take this all the way up like that. There, and that'll separate the two houses. And then since this is wood, I'm going to actually add more bark, uh, birch in here. So I think that would uh, keep more with the aesthetic I'm looking for, or the, at least this type of house. And actually, the more trees, the less snow I have to deal with. Although by the time I get the uh, trees in here, you sort of can't see some of the features of the house. So luckily you got a chance to see it uh, before I put the trees in. So this is kind of a landscaping that if you were going to sell the house, you would probably trim out most of the trees and clear it away so you can actually see the house. You see it on those shows, it's like, oh, you need to cut out all those weeds and branches and bushes in front of the house because people can't see what's going on. But luckily, we're not uh, we're not in the market, so we're just gonna. Um, that's not gonna work. Maybe if I put it here, there we go. This is Sprinkle some bamboo around here. I need to get rid of all this snow. I'll have to figure some. Maybe I'll get a. Well, no, I can't use a bucket of water now because I started planting things. So, so I'm kind of in a bind right there. I will have to, I guess, manually go through here and get rid of all of it. Speaking of manual, there we go. I need to put a torch there. Let's put another torch over here. Just want to keep everything lit. There. And over 
here. Yeah, we'll stick some plants here. I've got actually quite a few of these, these lilacs. And then I think, yes, I did. I picked up some dandelions and some other uh, other plants. So I think like these glowberries, I can do those there. There maybe, and uh, right there. Oh, I can't do that side. Maybe there. Oh, I'm in the hole. Just hit it with a little bit of bone meal. We have ourselves a yard. Okay, so I think in between episodes I will clear out some of the stray, you know, like snow here. Add in a little bit of moss carpet, put some carpet over those. And then get this place completely finished. And then we will start work on our last piggy house, which is going to be the brick house. So we'll have a brick house, which will sit right here. And it will look probably similar or identical in style to these, except it will be made out of bricks. Not stone bricks, though. Brick bricks. The red bricks. And maybe some mud bricks. And I think I will give it a... a a stone roof too so it will be all solid so it can't be blown down by the big bad wolf so that ah oh, enderman bad enderman yeah that ends this episode thank you for watching and i will be back in the next one until then have a great day bye bye oh look at this not bye bye yet this is clay. An enderman put clay here. That's insane. I didn't know they could pick up clay. I thought it was like dirt, dirt blocks, that kind of stuff. I guess clay falls into the dirt block category. I don't see any more endermen.